Evening everyone, it's Ian from DIY Home and Gardening and today, well being uh, the 18th of March, starting on planting my potatoes. Well kind of, just one actually. So let's turn the camera around and uh, have a little look. Okay so uh, I'm not out on the allotment but I'm in the greenhouse. I'm holding uh, one seed potato this is variety Pentland Javelin, which is a first early. And basically I've got my others still kind of doing their thing indoors, waiting for the weather to improve um, before planting out over the allotment. And as an indication, uh, let's show you actually. So uh, today, melted now but we've had snow and we have done for the last couple of days so let's uh, there we are um, let's get back in here so definitely no planting over the allotment but um, I have worked out how many potatoes I'm going to need and I do have a couple of uh, potatoes spare um, of some varying types and this one actually is my only spare one of what is a first early. Uh, what am I going to do with it? Well, actually, again, looking around through the garden, I've got this uh, old 20 litre pot. Um, and so I didn't plant any in containers last year. I've done in the past, but I'm just going to plant one of these into a container. And that is right, just one. Uh, really want to see how uh, how much of a crop I'll get from just one potato. Um, and the reason I'm going for first earlies in the container is quite simply because they'll be ready much sooner. Won't have to worry about uh, sitting on the patio for ages and ages. I'll be able to obviously knock it out of the pot by sort of the June, July time. And so it won't be clogging up the pot, but, um, the patio potential for potato blight or anything else and um, Pentland Javelin is a nice uh, easy variety to grow so uh, very simple I'm not even going to bother cleaning the pot in all honesty because quite frankly I can't be bothered um, I just want it to be a real crude experiment to see uh, what I can generate from one container so first things first, uh, filling it up. I'm literally just going to be using this multi-purpose compost. Uh, this lot actually, again, um, is kind of spent compost in a, a manner of speaking, in as much as this has come out of the trays that uh, I've had my chrysanthemum um, stalls in. And so now these have been, uh, well, I'm propagating these. I've got, yeah, old compost available which ordinarily again would just go in the garden but actually there's nothing wrong with it the uh, chrysanth um, roots had only been sitting over winter in it for the last six months um, so oh, five months so actually it's still got most of its nutrients available and again potatoes don't need a lot of nutrients so what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill the container up by about a third, which would be about uh, three inches, um, and fill it up with uh, the compost, and then I'll pop the potato in. Right, that's, that's better, you can actually see what I'm doing. Uh, oh, you can see what I'm doing. Potato, you can see it's sprouting. So all I'm gonna do, just remove any that, uh, well, that odd one where there's multiple shoots would appear, stick it into the container and then cover over. Um, a lot of the time you'll see people doing earthing up, which means that they uh, cover over, allow the potato to shoot up, uh, develop its shoot and then again cover with some more soil. But um, if any of you saw my video from last year in my allotment which was the no dig no earthing up video um i got really good crop from well no with no earthing up and no effort so 
literally that is just going to be covered with compost and it's going to be as hopefully as simple as that so you know this is all I'm going to do is just tip the compost in and try not to make loads and loads of mess and after that I've got a bit more of this spent compost from the uh, sample trays oh. Slight mess there, see, they're the uh, last of the croissants to be done. And really, that is that. That's how it's going to sit. And oh, let's just put this last bit in. A bit of root in there, that's all right. Um, yeah, it's just going to sit in here in the greenhouse with a little bit of warmth in here. And that's it job done I'll come back to it when it starts sprouting okay so uh, 4th of April today so um, about three and a half weeks on from first planting of the potato and you can see that that one potato has now sent up a few shoots uh, I added on a little bit of well fresh compost onto the top of the pot uh, yesterday just to um, compensate for some of the compost as it's sort of slumped a little bit with uh, age and it's still in the greenhouse and my intention is that um, the potato planter will be moved out within the next couple of weeks. So I thought I'd come out this morning show you uh, how the uh, potatoes are doing. Um, well I say potatoes it's it, actually only one potato went into that uh, container um, and yeah so we're 12th of April so um, one month and two days on from when the uh, the singular plant was put in um, yes they're inside the greenhouse it's not uh, not particularly hot in here other than what the Sun's providing but uh, you can see the the growth is well above the container now and um, all I'm doing is during the day popping the container outside and overnight bring it back in just in case of any uh, um, frost so I don't want any of this getting scorched now um, and really it's just going to be a case of making sure that uh, the plants got sufficient water and once we get um, into May give it some feed so that's uh, planting the um, planting potatoes in a container and that's that really uh, it's just uh, just a case of waiting for the potato to grow until it's time for harvesting which will be about the June time um, if you do have any questions on how to grow potatoes in containers then obviously please send them over to me I'll do my best to answer any questions you might have if you like what I'm doing, then please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that reminder button so you don't miss out on the future videos I'm doing. I always say it, but it's so true, you know, and being in here, it reminds me that actually do things that you enjoy doing, make the time for them, and um, hopefully you'll be rewarded with some good plants. So, um, have a good day, take care of yourselves, and uh, till next time, bye for now.